Okay. So guys, uh, uh, let me start up OBS here. I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of misinformation. And you know how schools always like to do tech tutorials and stuff? Honestly, and this is this my school. They, uh, I was trying to look for the registration info for next year. And yeah, I didn't really find any. But, hold on. You should be able to see my screen now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do headphone or default audio source. Okay. So guys, the reason why I get so mad about a lot of things, because I'm a tech nerd, and when you're passionate, it hurts. Google Drive just sucks. It's still using the built-in player from like 2013, so yeah, no, 2012. I don't know why. Why would they just update it with the new YouTube API player? I don't... That's just Google's lazy. That's what that was. This video is actually pretty nice. I already have a channel, obviously. IFT and no phones allowed. Go subscribe. So why did we make this video? Consider we can't use it. We can't actually make a YouTube on our school account. This is actually pretty good. Hold on. Are his comments actually turned off, or is that just because I'm on a school account? Uh, I don't want incognito, but ugh, I don't want all three tabs popping open either. Okay, his comments are actually turned off. Okay. Hey, it is in 1080p. Dang, Randy, I even subscribe on here. I'll even turn on the bell. This dude looks familiar, but he does not I don't know if I know him or like. I think he's the dude of our school that, like, uh, I think what he does, I think he's the guy that actually, he looks familiar, so I'm, I think I, I think because, I think we went to the gym in ninth grade academy, right, and I think, I, I think he, I think we had a presentation, and because it looks familiar, Chromebooks, yeah, honestly, my camera's sitting on this Chromebook, I don't use it, I use my computer, even though it's against the school rules, that Chromebook cannot even do three tabs without it crashing, garbage. Garbage OS, dude. I hate that operating system. Honestly, dude, on my computer, I can have all these operating systems and a virtual machine running all at once. Come on now. Chrome OS is nothing. Seriously. I honestly don't like Chrome OS, but schools get a discount from Google if they get it, so, eh. I'm not hating there. And honestly, they actually, I really wish schools would switch over to the rugged Chromebooks. They're not that much more expensive than the uh, traditional Chromebooks. And to be honest, it would be a lot better because you can throw those things. Like, you can, YouTuber who actually put an axe to it, didn't break. And so if you're dropping it and stuff, because, you know, especially for, like, elementary school. Cause also, I'd like to clarify, what, what I was doing was, this is one of the tech um, channels for the school, so. So on this part, he was talking about COPPA and how, even though we're kids, just to said to not made for kids. No, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You'll get sued. No, 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 no. You'll get fined 10 grand each video if you get caught. Do not do that. That's why YouTubers are so scared. That's why they're peeing themselves last year. You see, this was in 2020, and I actually did upload on my school YouTube channel for, like, AV class. And guess what? They turned it off, so I don't, I don't think, I don't think he knows, but... In 2020, you could have it was open, but like if I actually try to upload my school channel, like it would completely disappear. The button doesn't work. It will say this account cannot work. Do that or whatever. Same as profile picture. The school cut it off. No, if you're going to do that, you always have to upload from a computer. If you don't upload from the computer, it will it will not upload that description for you. Actually. Not correct. Private means only you can see it. Unlisted is the one only you can see it, and as long as you share the link, someone else can see it. Now, YouTube did actually add a feature this year that you can actually send it to an email address and they can watch it, except it doesn't work half the time, stuff like that. Un un if you're going to just want to... Um, yeah, see, he has it. He had it corrected. Yeah, he corrected it up here. So, 
to be honest, he's actually really good at explaining it. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know. Why does he have his like to dislike ratio off? Okay, okay. If my fellow students are watching, don't go and dislike any of the teachers' YouTube channels. Okay, come on. Don't don't hurt the poor guys' feelings. All right, that ain't cool. Actually, guys, I'm gonna switch over to OBS real quick. So, guys, I've pretty much messed up the recording, but I watched the. Re okay. Definitely gonna have to take my graphics card out and look at that fan now, because I don't know what the heck that was, but okay. Um, anyway, I, pr uh, I pretty much had to scrap that last bit, because I switched over from using ELC utility just to using it in uh, OBS, and the mic wasn't working, so it's great. Or it's muted, so. Yay, I hate when that happens, but it's also like 1 a.m. So. Anyway, I watched the rest of it, and it was actually a pretty good tutorial, but he said in some of it that, you know, some of it's not accurate, but it's okay. Of technology for Coffee County Schools. In this yeah. video, yeah, I knew you but, did you know that don't anyone? I don't even know computers know how to hack you, because this account can be accessed from anyone in the world. So this is hey, a bad is passwords. So. Just you numbers, your phone number. Hello. My name is Mr. Dame Woodis, and I'm the Director of Technology for Coffee I County Schools. In this video, we're going to go over how to use your school k 12 coffeenet right, for any account. These are examples of bad passwords. By the way, passwords, hey, words, the computers know how to hack you because this account can be accessed from anyone in the world. So You'll think that, but... Why he, there's some truth of what he is saying, but also not. Actually, if you ever heard of brute force, which is like a pretty much a password list of guest passwords, and I'll keep trying and putting different words together until it gets it right. Um, but yeah, actually, using something like but you're going to log in, in second, you're going to be given a temporary password, and then you are going to have to make pick up a new one working with your teacher. Now just so examples of great passwords, or uh, random garbage, right? Actually, this is more insecure than using your name. And the reason why is, for example, I have a LastPass subscription, right? And um, you know, oh well, I did have one. Generate secure password. You see how it just puts a bunch of random stuff like uh, like that one. Guess what? A brute force could guess that in less than 24 hours based on the characters. You see why it's more insecure to do it that way? That's why I actually put something, only something I would know. Just having a bunch of random stuff isn't gonna help. And also, you can have, actually, my password is password. Like, I'm, I'm not joking, my Google account password is password. Never got hacked. And that's because I use 2FA. If you're wondering what 2FA is, two-factor authentication, which means you have to have my phone and you have to have it unlocked on you. And it will say, did you just log into your account? Yes or no. If I click no, the other person can't log in. Click yes, and then it will go through. I also have a two-factor authentication app as well, along with backup codes that are printed in a safe that's hidden in my room. So no one can get into my account, even if they knew the password. And if they had my phone number. See? And these reset every 30 seconds. That's how you keep your password secure. Just looking at it, you're going, well, how do you remember that? Those seem pretty hard, but they're not. And I'm going to show you talk? how to come up with a great password. Look at the first one. Does he talk about password T I A E O A, capital G, P W, 2 3, and then the at sign? See, that's more insecure because it's more easier to get, easier to guess that. That's see a point of a brute force is for stuff like this because for so long people have been told that this is a great way to do passwords. It's not. How's that easy to remember? Well, this is how I created that password. And I've actually I took an example of a sentence or took a sentence to and then just took the first letter of each word. It. And of course, I've always given the accounts back. And then added a number or two at the beginning or the end. This is an example of a great password. See the letters that are highlighted in red? 
Well, those are the letters I used for my password. Pretty simple if you can remember, make up a sentence and take the first letters of each. It's I go not, to a. But it's worse, though. It's worse. Request for a new notice as you will in the internet. Holy and all messages, all documents, whether you start them and delete them, Actually, are archived. Which means they. Oh, I don't know about the G Suite, but if you're on a regular Google account. Um, I think I already have a video about this on my IFD Productions channel. Kept. Click on those. So let's say email is only turned on for those students that are sixth grade and up. For those students, you can only email people in guardian. This statement, if you have something that you need to share that's personal or private or of concern to you, share it with a responsible adult, a counselor, a teacher, your parents. Please do that. Don't put it into your account. With the Chromebook, if you're using a Chromebook, yep. you should never, ever carry it by the screens. That's how you break the screen. You should Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. Don't be a, don't be a screen toucher. Don't. For one, it's nasty. And for two, stop. Always have you your hands, if you look at the picture here, hands down where the keyboard, but on the other. Actually, it's better to hold it. With one hand up, like kind of like you're holding a waitress pan or whatever, and one hand on the side. There's going to be assignments, and there will be ways and videos and all kinds of help that you can use to learn how to use Google Docs. Yeah, the rules are pretty good, I guess. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to edit this video and go to bed. And yeah, I am. I really would like to apologize for this mic quality. I know it's, I know it's bad, but like I'm using a different mic next time. Sorry.